to take for this heavyweight fight. A decade, the elder of Jordan is Congo, who is four inches taller. Jordan weighed in at 250, Congo at 231. Congo with nearly a seven inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 13 wins, three losses, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Sean the Savage Jordan. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record, 27 wins, 7 losses, 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Czech Congo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Eve Levine, our referee for this heavyweight fight, Czech Congo. And Sean Jordan. Ready, sir. Greg Jackson said of Sean Jordan, he is one of the most athletic heavyweights I have ever seen. And here we go. The Southpaw Sean Jordan in the dark trunks, white trunks for the UFC veteran, Czech Congo. And this is a big step up in competition for Sean Jordan. Shows a lot of promise. Dangerous, powerful young man. But Czech Congo's been around the block, seen it all, and been in there with champions. Congo, very good in the clinch. Sean Watch George, for though, the knees. He's so physically strong. Yes. 610 pound bench during his college football days. And he's just trying to squeeze his hands together, though. But he's using his arms against the legs of Congo. Congo has a nice wide base there. And until Jordan can clasp his hands together, he's not going to get Congo down in this position. Check now Congo. He goes under the leg. Now, now it's different. Now he's under the leg. Check Congo, Joe, getting some love here in Calgary. And Jordan pressuring him right now. Go, guys, what? When you talk about the base of Congo and it's so wide and so strong, there's so much power in the legs and the lower part of the body of Sean Jordan from all his years of football and playing at a high level at LSU. Block for Joseph Adai during his college career. And if this is the way this fight's going to go on, we're going to get to know a lot about the endurance of Sean Jordan as well because this is a very grueling aspect of mixed martial arts. Sort of underappreciated, because if you're looking at it at home, you're like, they're not doing anything. But they are. They're both straining with 100% of their effort. Sean Jordan pushing forward, trying to drag Czech Congo either away or up or connect his hands together, and Congo defending everything that Jordan's trying to do to him. This Neat. is incredibly taxing. He's on the back of Sean Jordan. Two very powerful heavyweights grappling here early, battling for position. Congo has his back and he does not want to let it go. Sean Jordan may, may roll under. He may dive under the waist, putting his head. He may uh, throw one leg in between the two legs and roll under. What happened there? What happened? Must have caught a low punch or a knee. Let's see uh, the right elbow. Oh, yep. No doubt about that one. You hit him there. You are responsible for the weapon that you use, and you are responsible for the weapon. I love when they show the repeats and the whole crowd goes, oh. Kind of what you, what you do when they show the repeats. He's got five minutes. He's in control of that five minutes. He's going to rest until you feel that he's, you know, ready to come back. Okay? You stay there. 
Well, Czech Congo should use this as an opportunity to catch his breath, too. Michael Bisping here in attendance tonight. Of course, he and Congo trained together for many years at the Wolf's Lair in Liverpool, England. Jordan caught him because he's taking Even Congo Venus. a bit to get ready. Talking to him in French, that crafty devil. Uh -huh. hey, let's take a look at it again, folks. Oh, yeah. And a big, oh. The French Canadian and the native of Paris, France. Are you ready, sir? They're going to continue. Jordan apologizes to Congo, said, My bad. Somewhere at home, Crow Cop is smiling. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Jordan trying to. Get inside the reach of Congo, who's really showing that jab. Well, he rifled kick. the kick. Congo's picked up the pace now, Joe. Congo's got the clinch, backs up. Congo is a big, powerful man. Well, he if he can make Sean Jordan fight a striking match, he should have a significant advantage. He's a more technical striker. Got the longer reach. Heavy handed. Really strong leg kicks. And those knees can be vicious. Again, he's just pawing with that jab, keeping Jordan at distance. Jordan wants to get inside. If Congo was looking for that right hand. Fighting a phone booth. The only problem with getting inside with Congo is you can eat a knee or two. Well, the other thing is, you, you might want to look... You might want to look at, uh, at, at Sean Jordan's endurance at this point of the fight, too. This being his first really big fight. Could possibly be experiencing an adrenaline dump about now. Jordan was 240 pounds in eighth grade. The big boy. <laughs> That's what he weighs now. Yeah, right? That's Fought crazy. pretty much exclusively in Louisiana early on. Greg Jackson. I'll tell you, I'm looking at Sean's endurance, and he seems fine. He's not breathing too heavy. And one of the things about Greg Jackson's fighters is they're all supremely conditioned. Yes. Training at altitude in, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and doing all those hill sprints and all the different things that Greg makes him do. Very rarely see a Greg Jackson fighter with endurance problems. Even a giant dude like Sean Jordan. I was going to say big or small. Yeah. Jordan, again, trying that high crotch. He's working on that single, but he cannot take Congo down. Knee to the body by Congo right at the end of the round. Check. Don't wrestle with him. With it. Keep him on the end of that jab. If he's backing up to the cage, it's because he wants to wrestle. Yeah. Throw, your, throw your shot straight, yeah? When he's backing up to the cage, throw straight shots at him. You hear me? When you, if, you, if you're backing to the cage, throw your knees. Don't hold him. Don't hold him there. Throw knees. Get out there. Throw elbows. Hey, Jack, man, allons, allons, travaille ton jab. Travaille ton jab, allons, les bras. Okay, come on, keep going. Would you loosen up? Would you relax and have some fun in there? Throw some bombs at this dude's head. Okay, Sean, all the way, all the way, all the way in, all right? Ties and crossing that, that line, that right hook of yours, all right? If he steps, we can hit blue. One of those three, all right? Attack the ties or cross their line if he steps blue. You get emotional and technical advice in the Greg Jackson corner. Thank you so much. Greg Jackson tell him to have fun and Winkle John giving him very specific technical instruction. The battle continues here in the heavyweight division. Sean Jordan replacing Big Nog. Nice knee by Congo. As Antonio Nogueira unable to fight tonight due to injury against Congo. And as you said, a big step up in competition and a big opportunity for Sean Jordan this evening. Trying to get control here in the clinch. 
Nice knee to the body by Congo. Got the double unders. And Congo able to get his arm underneath Jordan's now. A lot of battling right here for position, Joe. Yeah, again, this is what we saw in the first round. Grueling. Jordan unable to take Congo down, but using all of his energy to try to make it happen. And now he's driving into him over and over again. Got his hands clasped around that single. If he could turn the corner. Nope. Stuffed. Congo clasps it. That's a, that's a neck crank right there. If he can get that head in the middle of his chest with that position. Nice knee to the body again by Congo. Through the right, then followed up with the knee. Jordan tried to catch him on the counter and could not. The battle on the fence continues. Congo with the nice knee. Congo really looking to outgrapple Sean Jordan here tonight. They exchange knees. Congo's got the harder ones, though. And he and tried to take Jordan, Jordan down. Congo with the striking oh, advantage. Big, big punch. right hands. That was a hard right hand landed by Congo. Two right hands delivered by Congo. Midway point of the fight. Congo leaning on Jordan again. John Jordan in camp with John Jones and Travis Brown, the aforementioned Brian Stan and Albuquerque. Talk about a big, long heavyweight. Travis Brown, good man to work with if you're Sean Jordan. Hoppa's even a couple inches taller than Czech Congo. And what a, a bright future that guy has. Absolutely. He's the dark horse of the heavyweight division, in my opinion. Jordan trying to work hard for a takedown. And Congo behind him again. When I see him in this position, I expect him to duck under and perhaps go for a leg, which he can use to sweep and wind up on top. But uh, he, he's not going for that. Instead, he reaches back with his arm, and in doing so, he's going to expose his back. Trying to crank on the neck again. Greg Jackson said, enough of the wrestling, I need striking from you. Yeah, but he can't get Congo off him. This is a, an experience advantage manifesting itself in a fight, for sure. Yep, 11-year pro against 3-year pro. And again, he's doing this thing. This, he's kind of giving up his back. If Czech Congo wanted to and released that left leg and spun around behind him like he's doing right now. Czech Congo, if he gets in position, has vicious ground and pound. Oh, Congo screwed up. Oh, he made a big mistake there. He awkwardly tried to get that left hook in instead of concentrating solely on the over-under control. Now it's Jordan on top in the half guard of Congo. Well, this is Jordan's opportunity. He's got to make something happen here. He's got to drop some bombs. He's got to soften him up. Congo's been controlling most of this fight, and this is a gift. This is a gift position. Late in round two. Congo just so rarely gets a dude's back, he's not quite comfortable doing so. He just couldn't couldn't control that uh, that space while he was trying to put that hip in. We'll show it in the replay. Got him with the right hand. But that was a moment for Sean Jordan, and he has not been able to capitalize on it. And Congo was free at the end of the bell. Yep, didn't do any damage at all. Check your head. You only had the last of the rounds because you let, you let him wrestle, yeah? You only had the last bit of that round because you allowed him to wrestle. Huh? You're going to stick to the plan. Okay, listen to me. Here we see the right hands of Czech Congo. Boom! 
and boom, and one more. Let's take another, another look at this one. Now here is when Czech Congo, we're gonna show when Czech Congo had his back and lost the position. He had his back out, and guys, just go. slipped when he was trying to put out, that left out. hook in. Let's go, guys. Out. And Jordan wound up on top, but really didn't do anything with it. Five minutes remain in this fight. The Southpaw Sean Jordan, 13 and 3 in his MMA career, facing off against Czech Congo, the most experienced opponent that he has ever faced. What I've been impressed with in this fight so far is Czech Congo's takedown ability, excuse me, uh, takedown defense. His takedown defense has been stellar in this fight. Nine for nine. Nice knee. And, you know, he, he's muscling down with this dude who's a big, strong, former pro football player, and Congo's getting the better of these exchanges. Congo's got his back again. Look at that, nine for nine, as I mentioned. Congo has attempted one takedown. Quick upward elbow by Jordan. Nice knee by Congo. Five of Congo's last six wins have come by strikes. But this one, at this point, seems destined to go the distance. Unless somebody can get a burst going here soon, Joe. Right hand. Congo with the right hand. And he goes and he right back in again. for the clinch. You know, I would like to see Congo separate and really try to open up and, and end this fight. I think his advantage in striking is pretty significant. Congo's got him pressed up against the cage. Yeah. Pummeling again for position. And Congo briefly looked to take him down. There's a nice knee. Yeah, they've worked this position throughout the night. Props to Eve Levine for letting them work, even though it's not the most exciting thing to watch. This is a real fight. And you know, because... Jordan had his hands down. Czech Congo couldn't couldn't knee him in the face there. They put that one hand. See right down. there, like Jordan is extremely tired, winging arm punches, and instead of exchanging with him, Czech Congo just ties him up some more. Jordan making himself a downed opponent. I think Czech Congo has a possibility of stopping this fight if he can get separate and, and, and open his strikes, unless he's not too tired to do so. You know, he might be doing this because he thinks this is the safest place for him. Jackson yelled out, do that again. And jo Jordan putting one hand down on the ground to avoid the knees. Czech Congo completely controlling the clinch game. Again, a minute and a half to go. Congo's got an opportunity. If he can separate... Take him down, get he your head up. You can't take him down. No, he really, he's not a great wrestler. And you're gonna need a great wrestler to take Congo down at this point in his career. He does have an underrated ground game. Well, his ground and pound is absolutely ferocious. Oh, vicious. And now with under a minute, Jordan has to do something big. The Mustafa Al-Turk fight was one of the oh. best examples of Congo's ground and pound. Nasty. There's a nice knee to the body. More of that by Congo, please. And for Jordan, man, I mean, he's, he's got to go for broke. He's got to let it fly here. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. 
I think this is an opportunity of a young man getting a shot at a, a very experienced veteran just a wee bit too soon. I think there's a lot of potential in Sean Jordan. He's a big, strong, athletic guy, and uh, under Mike Winkle John's tutelage, I'm sure his striking will improve. And nice knee. Yeah, very nice. He just got overpowered by yeah. the big, strong Czech Congo. He got overpowered out and out technique and yeah. control. It was all the above, out experienced. But, you know, this is not the kind of showing that Czech Congo wanted to sort of establish himself as a top-tier heavyweight and move him back into a, a position of title contention. This is not that kind of fight. And Congo lying down. Congo exhausted. exhausted. Well, now we know why Congo didn't separate and try to strike. Yeah, he is exhausted. Joe, let's take a look at our fight replay. There's a good right boom, hand and another. Boom, boom. And here's another nice stepping-in right-hand jab. Nice knee to the body by Congo. I mean, I think it should be a clear victory for Congo, but I don't think it's what Congo wanted to argue the point that he is one of the best. Frustrated Sean Jordan. Well, you know, for this young 27-year-old, this is a learning experience. You know, you can't expect to be the best. He's only been training in mixed martial arts for a few years. This is, uh, this is an, a learning process. Replaced Noguera, taking this fight on short notice. He's upset, but you know what? That disappointment in yourself is what drives you in training, and him going back and analyzing this tape is going to do wonders for his game. Sitting down with his coaches and, you know, have get Greg Jackson go over all the mistakes they made. He'll be back and better. The official decision is in, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-28, 30-27, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Czech Congo. Congo now has spent more time in the octagon than any heavyweight in UFC history. He wins for the 11th time in his UFC career tonight.